Hello and welcome to EQ Magazine, India's oldest and largest solar media. Today with us we have Mr. Dheeraj Malani and Mr. Vebo Vatnagar with us. Welcome, sir. So my first question to you is: Oriano has also been into top solar startups in India last year. How did the company come so far? Oriano is a company which is uh, there from last eight years in this industry. We started from CSP, and we now have a good amount of journey in terms of solar PV. We are into the EPC business of the solar PV projects on the utility and ground mounted both the scales, and we are also providing a new innovative solution, which is a solar park business, especially designed for the C and I customers, because we are finding that C and I customers are facing problem in the market with respect to land, power evacuation, acquisition, and other challenges. So there we have now brought this solution that we will provide them solar park. As well as the EPC of the entire project, so that they will get a end-to-end -end turnkey solution. Other than this, on asset management side, we are taking care of the projects which we have already executed. And now, in the coming years, we have a plan that if we can do this special asset management for the for the third-party projects as well. So sooner you will get that asset management as a separate SBU working in the ambit of Oriano Clean Energy. So EPC, solar park, asset management. Basically, these three will be our offering in coming days. From the execution point of view, we have executed 500 megawatt of projects, another 300 megawatt under pipeline, and another 300 megawatt of solar parks also we are developing, which are under the development phase. So sooner you will get from the market. Overall, in nutshell, you can say a one gigawatt of portfolio we are gonna run. Okay. That's about area. Uh, thank you so much uh, for answering the question, sir. Now, my next question is to Mr. Weber. In this run of thermal energy decreasing and renewable energy increasing, where do you think Oriano EPC currently stands? So, see, from the experience and construction perspective, we have gathered quite a rich and good experience. We have executed projects across the country in uh, different domains, uh, different topographies, uh, very tough timelines. We had executed it uh, uh, for mining, right? Uh, for cement industries, for regular open access projects. So we uh, see a good opportunity, and based on our rich experience, we see it's good that there is uh, such a large volume available in the market. Uh, we have also expanded from uh, the EPC to end-to-end uh, -end solution, like Dheeraj has said, right from land identification till approvals and everything. So plug-and-play model kind of thing uh, we are offering. Uh, and on the basis of the same means it's a one-stop solution kind of thing. So we see good future and good opportunities which we can execute uh, on the basis of rich experience of the team and in-house capabilities. So we, uh, we think it's quite good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much Mr. Dheeraj and Mr. Weber for joining us. Thanks, thank you. Thank you.